Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Working from home? Protect your sensitive data with an extra layer of security at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. Yeah, What are we doing? Have you ever considered what else might be your dream job? Oh, restroom attendant at the International Space Station. I should have never left the meat department. Good steady work. Well, we're going to explore some of our dream jobs. Oh. So we're going to start the series with Cooking Simulator Cakes and Cookies. Yeah. Oh, and right. every yeah. episode, I have invited a special guest to come and teach us all about this wonderful profession. And today's guest, come on in. It's Andy Warhol. <laughs> from the Great British Hello. Bake Off. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. you I'm from America. Your voice. You oh. Have to the thing is I have over 150 years experience baking uh, cookies, cakes, and otherwise. Did you say 150 okay. years? That being said, if I vampire? find that you have a soggy bottom, I will point it out. Soggy Bottom was the uh, working title for the new Paul Thomas Anderson film, but now it is called Licorice Pizza. A little piece of uh, trivia for you. I don't you, know if that's Mary true Barry. or if that's a joke. If it wasn't true being fact. powered by a small machine, my heart would have stopped just then with you having said what you just said. Now, Mary Berry, this game is telling us that baking is actually a thing you can fail at, but fear not that they've got us covered. So how many failures uh, have you had in your life? In my own experience with baking, the whole process of learning comes from failure. No, not my own failure. Right. I'm talking about the failure of Paul Hollywood and his marriage. Ooh. Am I supposed to know who Paul Hollywood is? You don't know Paul Hollywood? I don't know Paul Hollywood. I don't either. I was just going with it. He was my former co-host. He considers himself the bad boy of baking. He can't be badder than Emerald. Bam, 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 bam! Oh, he's a bad motherfucker. Of baking, though. Oh, oh yeah, Emerald the cook. And I don't think different. Emerald was a bad boy. He just said, damn. Do, do you, baby? I don't understand the oh. reference. It's, oh, a, it, yeah, it's yeah. A, a British thing. Do I make you horny, baby? The only thing that arouses me <laughs> oh, is baking. I have always said that the key to a woman's heart is through pastry. So when you're judging That's these true. pastries. Yes, I like to put them in my mouth and That's swirl it around. That's a sexual thing. It could be. With a good pastry, it should be. I mean, not just sexual for me, it should be sexual for everyone at home watching. Is that what you think your show is? Absolutely. It was, in its time, the most sexual show on television. So this will go into that hole, yeah. spread out a bit more. Perfect nut. I can hardly keep my hands off them. It's got to be stiff. Tell me, tell me. Are you a fan of the American film American Pie, where Jason Biggs fucks a pie with his 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 penis? American Wedding is my favorite. Yes. Interesting. Not American many people wedding. pick American Wedding. It was an excellent climax. I agree. Speaking of Stifler, I think this one gets a Stifler anytime he sees me nibble on a biscuit. <laughs> is that no. true, Badger? Yeah. No. Are you, you get a Stifler? That's that's say it's it's true. true. Do you have a recipe that you're following? Like, how, how does this work? What yes. Is so this was my grandmother's recipe. Oh, I oh, think I knew her. That. So yep. to the empty kneading bowl. Bowl, I'm adding a 400 grams of pastry flour. And remember, you always want to combine your dries because when oh, it yeah. gets wet, it gets very wet, Patrick. Patrick, Don't very worry. wet. Listen to her. Yeah, I hear you. We're not talking about the fucking pastry again, right? Oh, of course we're talking. We're always talking about the pastry. Okay. Nothing but the pastry. A B P. A B P. Well, like in Glen Gary, Glen Ross. A B P. Always be pastrying. I was gonna say always baking pastries, oh, but always be pastrying is, <laughs> is better. I like maybe that a little bit better. Um, yeah. so I'm trying to figure out what the first thing that we need to do is, to, so we can get a little experience. Let's so we, eat. Well, no, we have to make something to eat, but I don't. Know. I think the best way to learn is with something simple. So I'm going to suggest a seven-tiered wedding cake with fruit inside because the fruit has such, such moisture that you need to make sure you cook the fruit a little bit longer, otherwise you're gonna have a soggy bottom. Yeah, that'll definitely give Patrick a big stiffler. I, this isn't making me horny. I don't know where this is coming from. He'll shoot his Sean William shot. Here, Patrick, just close yeah. your eyes for a moment. All right, yeah. I want you to picture a delicious biscuit. Now imagine taking that biscuit, dipping it into the tea, okay? Taking it to your mouth and shoving it into a vagina. 
What? Do you feel how this how that could be sexual? No, where did that come from? That's a huge leap. The process, but uh, think of the process. That Who's doesn't seem sexual to you. I'm putting it in. No. I'm he right there with you. It. Ryan understands. I don't know. Ryan seems to uh, easily understand. I want to try now. I, I, I want to like try. Patrick, show your eyes. All right, just imagine two two donut holes, and then right in front of them is a big long john, right next to the donut holes. So it looks like a big penis, yep. and then you squeeze the long john over and over again until it pops at the other end. And all of the inner custard drips out of it. Do you masturbate by just squeezing over and over again? Is that <laughs> until something comes out the end? <laughs> how do you do it? If you're asking how I, Mary Berry, masturbate. Yes, I am asking that. Or not. It's by doing what you're seeing right here. Oh. Here, working in the kitchen. You're opening the fridge, taking a bowl, measuring out some flour, mixing it together, kneading the dough, oh. letting the oh. dough rise. Maybe I've made a meringue off to the side. Ooh, and then I have a nine inch dildo and I shove it in my butt. No! <laughs> Why is that this is a simple that process of baking? All the arguing, I poured too much flour, okay, everybody? Oh, oh so we've, we've supplied Lindsay with the finest <laughs> ground floor <laughs> kitchen she could ever uh, have her hands on. Did it bleed? Is that on purpose? Yeah, that's your blood. This is a eating. common practice. The truest way, and this is something I've always done with all of my baking, all right. Here we go again. is to put a little bit of my own blood and or other fluids into it. That is. I think it's the only way for a chef to truly feel like they're a part of their food. That's so illegal. So blood, sweat, and tears to you is like- Oh, you'd never use sweat. No. It's far too sweat. salty. It's gonna throw off the sodium distribution there. Um, I'm looking for like a, a scale, a food scale. Oh, in my kitchen, I keep that right below the butt plugs. <laughs> okay. Patrick. Our refrigerator so can, is full of butt point, plugs. Yeah, that makes Yo, a, butt nice, plugs. a nice chilled Are butt plug. There's butt nothing plug? better. Mary Berry, what's this? Oh, You're too young to know what that is. I want to know what it is. I'll, I'll tell know. you after. In graphic I'll, detail. I'll tell you after. It's pretty simple. Basically, when you're making the no, no, dough, no. you'll put in your flour. The hook will basically grab it and churn it because you can't just beat it. It's not going to work. And then you've got to churn it around. And if you ride it, it gives you orgasms. <laughs> oh, I was sake. waiting for it. That's what it's for. Okay, so. Mary, can I ask you? pour it on the floor. Something. What's your dream sponsor? Trojan condoms. For fuck's sake. How old are you? You can't have a kid anymore. Well, first of all, I find that to be offensive. Yeah, what baking is it's my not, child. Come on, baking is my child. Yeah, and sometimes I just like a stiff hard cock in my pussy. <laughs> So it's not always about making children, just as baking isn't always about baking cake. Sometimes it's the process that makes you feel the best. Sometimes it's the process that makes you feel the best. And sometimes I just like a stiff hard cock. Pussy. I'm enjoying your presence Thank here. Thank you very much. And I can see in your eyes, I, see, I look in your <laughs> eyes and I see, oh wow, you really have the spirit of a baker in you. And really? a long cock. <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, I'm not good at cooking or baking. I wouldn't trust anything that I would make. Well, let me assure you that you don't have to be a good baker from the start. Here's what I don't like about baking. It takes forever to cook anything, and then it takes me one second to eat and devour it all. Baking doesn't have to be a chore. Obviously, okay, what Lindsay's like trying to do here, a larger, more extravagant kind of style of baking, mm, which is making a commendable. Um, she's making a single donut. It's taking forever. But it really is. No, yeah. Jesus. Now that we finally got off all the weird sex pervert stuff, I was curious, is there a, for somebody like Ryan who maybe wants to start baking, but doesn't really know where to start, what would you recommend? Is there a book? The best place to start? Just some, yeah, like learning. How do the clitoris. I have zero clue where that is. I'm looking for vanilla extract. Have you seen Look the vanilla? For a small bottle. You want to find a small bottle. Yeah, a small bottle. bottle. Okay, fuck, Mary kill. Cake, pie. Yeah, you can fuck, Mary. Cake, pies, donuts. Oh, that's a tough one. Mary Cake, Ooh. Ashley Olsen, <laughs> fuck donuts and kill pies. Kill pies? Okay. Yes. I would marry pie, yep. I would kill cake, and I would fuck donut, obviously. Yep. The pie. donut's a no-brainer, yeah. It's got a hole right there. Right. Hello, bakers, and welcome to the tent. However, this year, you won't be baking, you'll be cooking. But don't worry, we've made it easier for you with HelloFresh. 
Listen guys, fall is extra busy, but thanks to HelloFresh, you can cut going to the grocery store from your list and still try out delicious new recipes. HelloFresh recipes save time you'd otherwise spend meal planning, shopping, and chopping, so you can get back to what matters, baking. They send you fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. And HelloFresh is endlessly customizable with over 50 recipes to choose from each week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, so there's plenty of variety for everyone with high quality ingredients that go from the farm to your front door in less than a week. And HelloFresh isn't just for meals. Their marketplace features all kinds of snacks like pumpkin cinnamon rolls to get you ready for cozy season. I get HelloFresh. We get it every week. We get three meals a week. I get the calorie smart. There's different recipes every week. It's like a rotating menu too. So you're, you're never going to get the same thing twice. It's just enhanced my overall cooking skills. You never realize how much a little bit of seasoning or a little bit of pan sauce can really elevate elevated dish. Go to hellofresh.com slash funhouse14 and use code funhouse14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's up to 14 free meals, including free shipping when you go to hellofresh.com slash funhouse14 and use code funhouse14. Wait, there's the vanilla. There's the vanilla. Where? Right there in the middle by the place, <gasps> by the kneading hook. That is the vanilla. Oh, hell yeah. Of course it is. Of course. It was right in front of me the whole time. Whisk. That's not a whisk. That was some action-packed baking right there. Don't you hate being in the kitchen that you are from and then you don't know where anything All is? All of these drawers are empty. I've done overnights in a bakery before, actually. Really? Oh, I've done During several as well. I don't want to hear about those. When I say it, what I mean is I've worked in a bakery overnight. Oh, I've been overnight. worked in a bakery as well. You've been DP'd in a bakery or something. <laughs> double pastry? You've been double pastry in a bakery? You, Ooh, you know I have. Shit. Now we need to add to a pot whole milk and baker's yeast. Add pot. I know a thing or two about yeast. Yeast, do. Yeah. Because I use it to bake, Patrick. I don't understand what the issue is here. Sex is the oldest form of entertainment that exists. You know that, Patrick? I feel like hitting two rocks together actually might predate sex, but... The two oldest jobs on the planet. What's that? Prostitution yep. and baking. I don't think That's true. Is. If you read any anthropology magazine, in fact, I was no. there. I fucked Homer. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows who Homer even is. There was it, well, you know the rumor is that Homer was actually a name given to a bunch of writers. And you fucked them all? They were all there. Wow. At this gangbang where the Odyssey was. Well, written. we wouldn't use a term like that. <laughs> what would you call it? An all-night bake. <laughs> you were the Odyssey. Okay. I was the Odyssey. How come wow. I can't cut it? Remember Charybdis, the oh. giant swirling hole that took in anything that went nearby? I'll sure. take your word for it. That was me. Whoa. All right, whatever. Fine. I can't get this to thing. Lindsay, how, are you having fun? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love this, but you know, I'm just trying to learn to bake. Whole milk, okay, whole milk. I'm just trying to make one single donut. I know. Well, remember, Lindsay, the key to a good bake is to make sure your the area clitoris. is clean. Oh, and oh. the glitter. I just put my dick in a blender. You wouldn't believe it, Mary. We actually have a coworker that habitually puts his dick in a blender. Is that true? Yes. Wow. I mean, uh, it sounds about. pretty wild. Oh, it is. Trust me. He should put his dick in something else. Yeah, I'm good. Which is... And I'm sure Mary Barry. Barry. Yeah. Barry. Okay, I'll give him your Does number. he like to cook? He does like to cook, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, he has a cooking I don't, channel. I don't like know if hook? he's a baker, though. He cooks, like, big, juicy racks of ribs and well, stuff. Well, say oh, no more. Yeah. Big and juicy is all I'm looking for. I'm good. Okay, we're almost there. It's baking. Well, oh. I noticed you didn't put it in a donut cake pan. That's what I put it in. Oh, they're cake donuts? Oh, man. I don't like cake donuts. I'm like, either give me a donut or a cake. You're going to have to inject cream filling into this if oh, that's what right, you want right, to do. Right, right, What's right, your right. favorite tool to use to inject cream filling, Mary? Um, the filling gun. It's the filling gun? Yeah. Yeah. And then where else do you put it, Mary? Uh, I like to keep it near the fridge. <laughs> if there it's jams or creams or what have you, I like oh, to creams. keep that in the fridge. So, um, ooh, ball juice. Ball juice. Yeah, yeah that's, I always have ball juice there. <laughs> I'm sure ball you do. Juice. How do I get it out? Oh, look, it's it's ready. Look at those. They look perfect. Mm, they look just absolutely they... delicious. Burnt. Yummy. Jesus. You've Lindsay. done a wonderful job you there, Lindsay, baking question mark donuts. Oh, we're going to see if people are going to buy them. Okay, oh. let's see. This is the most exciting part of a baker's life, and none oh. of them. They all were so happy. They were all happy. Very they happy. Were <laughs> not happy with my donut. <laughs> they were donuts. They didn't have a fucking hole in it. Oh, Mary Berry, actually, we did some baking of our own, and we, ha and we wanted you to judge our. Did oh, our... wonderful. Oh, I'd be really? happy to. Yeah, yeah, we, we baked on our own. Yeah. 
The Great Fun House Bake Off, only on BBC. It looks absolutely stunning. I want to check here. That's no soggy bottom right there. Oh, I, w I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I did just have an orgasm. It's delicious. <laughs> yes! It's fantastic. So this is a uh, figged Newton. It is uh, figs, I guess. First things first, check the bottom. It's dry as a bone. It's pretty dry. Good, good smell. Let's check for a snap. Good snap. Good Very snap. good snap. And now the taste. It wasn't as good as mine though, right? Oh, just bite it. Stop. Take your time, take your time. It's not meant to be eaten like that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna mm, puke. Not very good. What kind of fruits did you use for that? Uh, it's just figs. Well, considering they made two completely different recipes uh -huh. that I'm supposed to compare right now, uh -huh. if I had to choose, I'm gonna have to pick Ryan only oh. because only because the Thank odds you, of him having gotten some of his fluids into the recipe was much higher. That's not a positive totally thing. Right. That should, oh, swing yeah, it to there, me. You can have some so, of my fluids there. Now sweep up the place. Well, I just want to say it was my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, to, Mary Berry. To be here with with everyone. And by your pleasure, you literally mean. I've had uh, one of those vibrating eggs in me this, mm -hmm. for the last hour. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> can yes. I have it as a memento of this great day we spent together? Ah, uh, sure. What Thanks a lot, Mary. Guess I'm not gonna be a baker. <laughs> there you are. I will treasure this. Ooh, groovy, baby. Yeah.